Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some more of my low calorie high protein recipes that you can fit into your own diet and the recipes that I have lined up for today are bangers. So I am very excited to show you. But before we get going on that, I actually want to show you uh, this test that I am about to do. So for quite a while now, I have been slightly concerned uh, about my stress levels just because they're generally uh, quite high, trying to balance everything in my life pretty much. So I ordered this cortisol test off letsgetchecked.com. So cortisol is the stress hormone in your body. Uh, and I'm just interested to see, you know, where those levels are at because if they are high, and uh, then that can have negative effects on your body, on your risk of disease. Uh, and the most important factor of all, it can have uh, a negative effect on your body's ability to grow muscles. So, so this is the box that comes in. I have already filled out uh, some of the details. If you don't wish me happy birthday on this date, we cannot be friends. And yeah, I just have to follow these instructions and do my best not to screw it up. So I am going to be collecting a blood sample and to do that you pretty much just pierce uh, the skin on your finger. I'm going to be using this finger here uh, with a lancet. So you just apply firm pressure that should pierce the skin and then you drop the little blood droplets into uh, this tube that we have here and you have to fill it uh, to a little line on the top. So it seems pretty straightforward. All right, this isn't working out too well so far, so I have to fill the whole tube, and I am definitely not gonna fill the whole tube with the amount of blood that's coming out of my finger. Like, there's barely any blood coming out right now. So it says if the blood flow stops, which it pretty much has, you should uh, follow the process with another finger. All right, I am onto my third finger, but I am finally starting to see progress. <laughs> Okay, well that was almost a massive fail. I genuinely thought that I was gonna have to chop off a full leg to get like enough blood to go into the sample and all of my fingers are pretty much bleeding right now, but we got it done, which I am absolutely chuffed with. Uh, so yeah, they want you to send it back immediately. Uh, so I'm gonna go down to the post office now, get that done and I will chat to you in a bit. All right, so the package has been posted uh, successfully and I should have the results in time for my next video. So I will fill you in then and let you know if you should be concerned for my overall health. I also got a workout in that I will be showing you in a little while, but first I wanna show you what I am having for lunch. So these are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using Using. So I'm going to be having uh, some of these smoked Irish bacon medallions that you get from Tesco and medallions are just super low in calories uh, in comparison to normal bacon because it's pretty much just normal bacon without the fat so it still has all of the protein uh, so it's a really good low calorie high protein source and per uh, 100 grams which is half of this pack there is 120 calories and 14.3 grams of protein then I am also going to be having some of these potato chips that you also so again in Tesco, I am going to be having uh, some 30% less fat cheese that you get in Aldi. They used to sell a 50% less fat one, but I literally haven't seen it in weeks. So I don't know if they just don't stock it anymore. I really don't know. Uh, but 30% less fat cheese is still quite good uh, in terms of calories, so it's not too bad. Then I am also going to be having some of this pasta bake uh, sauce that you get in Aldi as well. So it's creamy tomato uh, and herb flavor and per 100. 100 grams there is only 85 calories and if you watched my last video you will know that if a pasta sauce has less than uh, 100 calories per 100 grams then you kind of know that it is quite calorie friendly uh, and for a creamy sauce uh, this is actually really good in terms of calories because usually uh, creamy sauces like carbonara for example are way higher so yeah 85 calories per 100 grams is very good Aldi. Oh and I almost forgot I am also going to have uh, a little bit of onion as well. So I bet you're kind of thinking like, what is he making? You know, bacon medallions, chips, cheese, I don't know, that just doesn't go, it's not really a combo, but it is. Just wait and see. So I've added 170 grams of the potatoes uh, to a baking tray. I'm gonna coat them with some of this one calorie spray, fry light. Uh, and then add some paprika. Oh, and if you have the choice between paprika and smoked paprika, smoked paprika is so much better. Then I'm gonna put the potatoes in the oven and time it for about 30 minutes. 
and there is about 15 minutes to go on the potatoes now so I'm gonna start preparing uh, the rest so I'm gonna chop up four baked medallions uh, into like little chunks, little lardons and I am also going to chop up some onion as well and I am going to fry them in this pot and you will see why I am using a pot uh, in a second Alright, the potatoes are good to go, bit burnt, but sure enough So I am going to add them to the medallions and the onions I'm going to add 100 grams of this pasta baked sauce 30 grams of this 30% less fat cheese and then mix it all together so the cheese melts Let's give it a go. Mm. That is honestly such a good combo. Potatoes, medallions, the pasta baked sauce is extremely tasty. Go get it. And yeah, if I had to describe it in one word, it would be creamy. Really creamy. Mm. Yo people, thought I would do a quick little voiceover uh, of a few clips from this workout just to give you a little bit of info on the exercises that I am doing and before I get going I want to massively apologise for the sauce all over my face uh, in that last clip. I blame it on the creaminess uh, of that meal but that is just not acceptable and I am sorry you had to witness that. But anyway, uh, let's get stuck into some highlights from this full body session and the first exercise that I chose to do uh, was the goblet squat with my heels elevated and this has been a staple uh, when I am training legs at home because one, it is just so easy to overload uh, by adding more and more weights to the bag as the weeks uh, go on and two, growing my quads is probably my biggest aim when it comes to my legs at the moment and elevating your heels during a squat shifts more emphasis onto those quad muscles. So yeah, I'm just a big fan of this exercise, I have to say. Next up, I moved on to some pike push-ups and honestly, these are an absolute killer uh, for the upper chest. So I am using dumbbells because it allows me to go down a little bit deeper on each rep because it creates more space between my head and the grass. Uh, but if you don't have stable dumbbells like this, you could do uh, the very same with like a few books or boxes or just whatever you have. Uh, at your disposal and I'd also like to point out that the angle at which you do these at is pretty important so you'll find that the steeper the angle you create between your upper and lower body so the more you kind of bring your feet in uh, it's going to shift more emphasis onto your front delts as opposed to your upper chest so I recommend playing around with your foot position uh, until you find an angle where you feel it a little less in your shoulders and more in your chest then next up we actually have this exercise that I came up with myself and yes I did don't take it away from me uh, and I call it the overhead lap pull in. So you basically just hold your resistance band overhead and pull one arm down and in towards your body. And the beauty of this exercise is that you're actually working both sides of your lats at the same time. So here, my left side is working as I'm moving that arm down and in, but the opposite side is also working to hold my other arm in the same position and prevent it uh, from moving with my left arm. So a few sets of these each side and your lats will be burning and then the final exercise that I want to show you today is the tricep push down but you'll see here that after each push down I am adding on a little bit extra I am adding on uh, a bit of shoulder extension uh, where I bring my arms back beyond my body and the reason that I am doing that is to ensure that the long head of the tricep or the inside part uh, of the tricep is working through its full range of motion and you will know exactly what I mean when you try this because you can really feel your triceps working hard to complete this final part of each rep. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that and I hope you enjoyed this little insight into my training and if you want me to do more of these and explain, you know, more exercises and why I'm doing them, then just please comment below uh, and let me know. Oh, and here is a little physique update for anyone who cares. So I am currently sitting around 77 to 77 and a half kg and I am very slowly gaining at a rate of about 1 kg per month. Okay, I am back in the kitchen and it is time for my next meal. So I'm going to be having a tomato spinach mushroom uh, and sausage pasta dish and these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I've basically already told you with that name uh, but we have some mushrooms here and uh, we have some spinach over here. We have these pork sausages uh, that I got in Tesco and these are probably the best 
sausages that I have ever found uh, in terms of calories and macros. So per sausage, there is 43 cals and 6.7 grams of protein. So yeah, that is really, really good, I have to say. But if you cannot come across them, uh, then there are other alternatives. You know, turkey sausages are low in calories. You can get chicken sausages as well. Uh, so there are a few options. I'm gonna be using uh, this onion and garlic pasta sauce that I got in Tesco. And per 100 grams, there is only 45 calories in this baby. So again, really, really calorie friendly. And last but not least, we have our whole wheat fusilli pasta. So I am gonna be using 40 grams of pasta. And while that is cooking away, I am going to chop up four of these sausages into little mini sausages. I am going to add those to a pan. And then I'm gonna get to work on the bed. So I'm gonna use 100 grams of mushrooms and 45 grams of spinach. If anyone wants to recommend me a spice other than smoked paprika, then please do in the comment section. It's actually getting embarrassing uh, at this stage, but I genuinely really, really like it. It is so good. Isn't it crazy how spinach just turns to nothing after like two minutes? I put in a huge portion of spinach. And look at it now. All right, I've drained the pasta and now I'm gonna add this mix to the pot. I'm gonna add 125 grams of this sauce to the pasta. And 125 grams is quite a lot, but since it is so low in calories, I can afford to do that, which is nice. And then we mix it all together. Okay, I am so ready for this and I have two tips when it comes to pasta. So the first thing that we need to realize about pasta is that it is high in calories. There is no way around that. We just have to accept it and move past it. But there are a couple of things that, that you can do if you want to include a pasta dish on a lower calorie diet. So the first thing that I like to do is pack that dish with veg. So as you can see, I used a lot of spinach. I used a lot of mushrooms and I could have used more veg. You know, I could have added onions and just anything that I wanted to bulk up the meal uh, without using too many calories. And tip number two uh, is to use a small bowl. So I'm not gonna lie, if I wasn't videoing this and presentation wasn't a thing, I probably would have used a smaller bowl again just to make my portion look as big as possible. So it's kind of like diet psychology. Uh, you can use smaller plates, smaller bowls, smaller cutlery, and just anything that kind of makes it feel like you are eating more uh, than you actually are. Because trust me, it makes a big difference. Okay, taste test. Those pork sausages go really, really well with the pasta. Mm. This is actually unreal. Such a calorie bargain for just over 400 cals. And you know, yeah, it's not the most voluminous of meals, but sometimes you just have to sacrifice volume for something that is gonna taste good, like this. Uh, delivery came today from Body First Nutrition, which I am very, very happy about, because if it didn't, then I wouldn't have been able to make something later on that I planned on making, so a good stuff. But I actually got a few other cheeky bits as well so uh, I got some of these fit bakes I actually haven't tried this flavor yet it is a new flavor cookies and cream only 41 calories uh, per cake which is really good I got triple uh, chocolate flavor as well I also got the new barbells bar which sounds so good crunchy fudge flavor so 203 cals 20 grams of protein standard Ooh, I like when they have sprinkles but I don't like when they go everywhere I am a fan of fudge based products, I have to say, and the sprinkles are a very uh, good addition. They do add that bit of crunch to the bar, which is nice, and yeah, I recommend it, it's pretty good. Okay, so it is just before nine o'clock, as you can see, uh, and I am about to have my final meal of the day, and to be honest, I am not too sure how it is gonna turn out. So I am going to attempt to make my own no-bake protein bars, and just as I say this, I'm thinking, why did I have that protein bar? like two hours ago, but anyway, uh, these are the ingredients that I am gonna be using. So uh, I have some chocolate brownie whey protein from my protein. I might need to top 
uh, this up. Now I have some peanut butter powder from my protein as well. If you are a fan of peanut butter, then this is basically just a lower calorie uh, alternative. And in my opinion, it tastes the same. Uh, we have some porridge oats. We have some chocolate chips that I got from Tesco and the all important ingredient that just came today. I was worried it wasn't going to come. Uh, so we have some butterscotch zero calorie syrup from the Skinny Food Co. I got it from Body First Nutrition. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix 70 grams of this peanut butter with some water. Okay, I think that is a fairly good consistency. I don't wanna make it too watery. Then I'm gonna add 40 grams of chocolate brownie whey protein to this mix mixing bowl, 30 grams of porridge oats. I am going to add my peanut butter into the mix and then 20 ml of this zero calorie butterscotch syrup. And I will add more of this if I need to, but I don't want to make the mix too watery. All right, that is how the mix is looking at the moment. I'm not too sure about the texture. I don't, I think it could be a little bit too runny. I don't know, but I'm gonna scoop it into this little bowl and hopefully it sets well in the fridge. Okay, so initial thoughts. Unless something miraculous happens in the fridge, I think it is a little bit too runny. I really didn't think 20 mils of that would be too much, but it is. I'm actually gonna put it in the freezer instead. Okay, so that mix has been in the freezer for about 20 minutes now, desperately trying to harden. I actually realized that it is meant to go in the freezer, so I actually got that right, but at the same time, I still think they are gonna be shit. I'm actually devastated. But yeah, let's crack on with it. And I am going to add 30 grams of these milk chocolate chips to a bowl uh, and melt them in the microwave so I can pour it over the mix. All right, let's see what we are working with. As you can see, it is a little bit too sludgy. I think, you know, if I left it in the freezer overnight, it would be fine. But if you only wanted to leave it in there for, you know, 20, 25 minutes, then you will need to use less syrup than I did. And let's add 10 grams of marshmallows as well for the crack. All right, so I think I'm gonna have half the bigger half, obviously. There's no such thing as bigger half. But yeah, in total, that will have 350 calories and 33 grams of protein, which is not bad. All right, let's give it a go. It's nice, but it would be nicer if it was a bit more solid. Like it kind of melts in your mouth, which isn't exactly what I was going for with a protein bar. It is good. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up there, people. I hope you enjoyed it. I do apologize that that last recipe was a little bit of a letdown. They can't all be bangers, I suppose. But yeah, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you have not done so already. That would really mean a lot. Uh, and make sure you comment below and let me know if you enjoyed it. But yeah, thanks again for watching. I am going to go try and not eat the other half of this protein bar thingy. I do not like my chances. And yeah, I hope you're keeping well and I will see you in the next video.